Hi guys, it's Liliana from Vanilla and Canela here and today I'm doing another video for my Five Ways to series and today it is five ways to save money on your groceries. Number one, meal plan. Now I'm not talking about getting all your recipe books out. If it's something that's really hard for you to do, just have a think back over the past couple of weeks, what have you eaten? What are your family's favorite meals? Is it spaghetti bolognese? Is it fish pie? All the things that you've been making for years. Start small, go with stuff you know. I used to find that just by deciding that I was gonna make a meal plan, I would get all my cookbooks out or go on Pinterest and halfway through I would lose the will to live all these different ingredients and all that, start with what you know. Once you get good at it, then you can add a um, new meal every week if you want, or even um, one new meal a month, you know, take it easy. So your meals should reflect your budget. So you can't eat lobster every day. Do you need to eat meat every day? Meat is one of the most costly items in your shopping bill. So maybe you do some vegetarian dishes. Number three, buy own brand or budget friendly items. I'm gonna show you quickly in my kitchen, what are my favorite budget items? Number one, it has to be the pasta, okay? The spaghetti is 20p a pack, 20p. And the penne, it's something like 39p. And guys, if I put them in a jar, this one and a different brand, you would not be able to tell the difference. I bet you, you would not. Next is the Passata. Tomatoes are tomatoes. Enough said. The other thing I also like to buy budget is their sweet corn kernels, right? Frozen sweet corn. Sweet corn is sweet corn. I'm going to show you two extra items that are not actually food, but they are still like household items. One is the bleach, toilet bleach. I only use bleach in the toilets and the Tesco's, it's two for a pound. And the other thing is baby wipes. You can get five or six packets for three pounds fifty and they they work just fine. I wouldn't advise them for newborn babies, but wipes. Oh, and I'll just add one more thing, okay? Now, I don't need them anymore, but the nappies, Tesco's own brand nappies is, I think it's like two packets or three packets for 10 pounds, while if you're buying Pampers, they're way more expensive than that. And they worked for us for years with Alex, so. Now I have to say, there are certain things that I won't compromise on, and they are ice cream, I like what I like, and I would rather go with without to having some rubbish, watery ice cream. The other thing is butter. I don't buy margarine or really rubbish butter. I prefer full on blocks of butter or spreadable butter, but a good quality brand. My favorites are Lurpak and Yo Valley. The other thing I don't compromise on is yogurts for Alex. He's already super fussy and just the slight change in packaging turns him off yogurts. And I do find that they're not as good as the branded, but I would love to hear if you've got some nice ones that taste like the branded stuff. And finally, the other thing I do not budge on is my washing up method, okay? Washing up liquid from method, should I say. As you guys, I have mentioned this loads of times, I get dermatitis if I use anything but um, method, so I stick to method. Number four, cook from scratch. Now, if you don't do this already, I cannot tell you how much money it saves me when I cook from scratch. And I don't mean I don't um, cook my own beans from dried beans, I buy canned, but try and make your own sauces. Not only are they healthier because you know exactly what's going into them, but they will cost you less money. Number five, 
um, fruit and veg. Now, I shop at Tesco's mainly, but I know that at least Aldi and Lidl do this as well. They Every week they have a different vegetables and fruits that they promote and they sell them really, really cheaply. You know, I last week I bought some um, four ba baking potatoes, so for jacket potatoes, for 69p. Um, I know I bought some unripe peaches for 49p. So have a look at what's on offer in the shop and buy that. Also, buy do not buy fruit that is out of season. Don't buy strawberries in the winter. Number one, they'll cost you a fortune. Number two, they taste of nothing. Have you guys ever noticed that? Also, as a side note, just be really careful with offers because I feel like sometimes the supermarkets scam us a little bit. You know, you think you're saving just because it says buy two for two pounds. But actually, when you look at the individual price, you might be saving 10p. I mean, is it worth it? Is it something that you're going to use? Is it worth it? Okay, guys, so that is it. I hope you have enjoyed this video. I would love, 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 love to hear in the comments below how you save money on your groceries. Give me your tips. I'm always open to saving even more money. So I'm going to say goodbye for now. Thank you so much for watching. If you're new, please subscribe and don't forget to like this video and I'll see you guys soon. Bye.